know, I can remember being 15, 16, 17 years old. Uh, and I would have these epiphanies about my own mortality, the fear of death. And I remember writing very substantial pieces in my journals from back then, you know, when I was a teenager. I don't remember the journal numbers right offhand specifically, but I remember how specific I was when I was writing these thoughts out. I was projecting all my thoughts into my journal because I was very heavily and deeply involved in journal writing when I was a teenager. And I always had these crazy ideas, these crazy thoughts about, okay, what if in the next day, the next week, the next hour, the next five minutes, the next two seconds, you know? And I would go through that. Now, I'm not sure if this is something that all teenagers go through. I'm not sure if this is a phase that teenagers work out eventually, you know, in their own time. But now that I'm 31 and I can look back on all of those thoughts, I think to myself, well, how silly was I to have these these thoughts about the what if, what happens, what if, you know, um... Of course, there is no if I die, it's when I die, because, you know, I'm not going to live forever. Death is inevitable. And I think, as a journal writer, as a poet, I have those moments of, uh, you know, like my philosophical ideas start to come out the most, you know, when I get deeply involved in writing. Back in 2012, I did a writing piece called The Big Word, and I was just all out, you know, gloves are off, and I was just writing all of my thoughts and, and everything that went with it. Um, that was probably one of the most substantial writing projects I've ever done. Um, but I always remembered, you know, because even then when I was writing The Big Word, I kind of challenged those thoughts and now that I'm older five years down the road since I've done the big word um, I think I was 25 and 26 when I wrote the big word but now that I'm 31 I look back on all of this you know when I was 16 17 and it's like you know what if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen like I said the the if is is kind of irrelevant because Death is inevitable. We all got to do it. It's just something that we do as living creatures. We have birth. We have death. But if you spend your whole life worrying about the end of your life, how are you going to live? I mean, isn't that crazy? It's, it's, it answers itself. I don't want to die. Of course I don't. But I look at it this way. I know I'm going to die. And with that very single thought, knowing that I'm going to die someday, eventually, this is going to end. I'm not going to be here forever. It makes me appreciate the life I have even more. Because when I consider all of the things I've been through in my life, childhood cancer, being homeless, mom and dad divorcing, uh, being sexually abused as a, as a young kid, um, all of these things, all of these horrific things, these traumatic things that I've been through in my life, I've decided that for the remainder of my life, instead of dwelling on the negative, this is how I want to live my life. Now that I'm older, I'm, I'm more mature, I'm more wise than I was you know, as a as a teeny bopper, you know, and, and kind of going through this this thinking process and, and, you know, not really giving it much examination or critical thinking. I just, I used to write whatever came to my mind, I would just write it down and be done. But now that I'm older, I'm 31 now, and I've decided that, you know what, I know this life is going to end, so what I'm going to do for the remainder of my life for as long as I have, for as many more trips around the sun as I can muster, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this life a memorable one. I'm going to take my negative experiences, my downfalls, 
And I'm going to use that to my advantage to inspire other people. The, the things that I never asked for in my life, and this is something that everybody could learn from. Instead of dwelling on the negative, which of course the negative things that happen to you, the traumatic things that happen to you, they're going to have a profound impact on you. Absolutely. And it's going to take you a long time to get back on your feet. It, it had taken me a long time to get over a lot of things. But what I am going to do, and what I've chosen to do, is I take those negative things, those scary things, you know, when, my, when, when life had my back against the wall, those scary things, you know, that happened to me. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to use it to my advantage to inspire other people and to give other people hope. Because I know that this life eventually for me will end. I'm not going to go on living forever. So while I'm here, I have to make the best out of this life that I have now. Worry about death when, you know, when that time comes, whenever that may be, I have no idea. I hope I live to at least be 100 years old. I mean, I'm 31 now. I got about, you know, 69 good more years to go. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. My math might be a little off. Um, actually, no, that is right. 69 years. <laughs> Lucky guess. But anyway, um, I, I, I'm just going to make the best out of this life. This is what I've been through in my life. And I'm going to spin this into a positive. I'm going to use my downfalls to be pillars of strength and inspiration for the people around me and when that day comes when I do pass away all my poetry all of my journals and this incredible life I've led going through the personal things that I've been through in my life will be a lesson for everyone else to learn and that is the life that I choose to live so my fear of death and dying not so much anymore I know it's going to happen but knowing that makes me appreciate this life 10 times more than ever before so am I afraid of death and dying yes and no I'm afraid of it because I don't want to die but I'm not afraid of it because I know I'm going to die it's inevitable there's nothing I can do to change that. I can't stop it. But this is the only life I'm ever going to live. I got one shot at life. And damn it, I'm going to make this life the best life that I can possibly make it out to be. <laughs>